Welcome everyone. In today's video, I will show you a workaround when you come across file is locked for shared use by error in Power Automate flows. So stay tuned and let's get started. I recently encountered an issue within one of my client workflow. The Power Automate process is straightforward where a user is sending a document for review. However, a problem arises when the reviewer opens the Word file in their browser, approves it via email, and then closes the file after they have done the approval. So the workflow believes the file is still being edited by the approver, preventing it from updating the file properties upon approval. Consequently, an error is thrown which says the file is locked for shared use by and then the username. So let's begin by replicating this issue. So I have a, a document library here which have few documents. I've created a very simple flow which trigger when I select a file. So the trigger of this flow is on a selected file um, and then I'm starting an approval process. I'm assigning this task to Adam. So he is one of my approvers. So he needs to approve this document. So after the approval, I want to update the file properties in the same library with the comment. So there is a comment column in the file metadata. I want to update the comment based on the approvers comment. So whatever response I get from the approvers, I want to add into the comment. Let's start this process. So if I go back to the site A, let me show you the approver flow name. So flow name is document review. If I go to site A and then if I select document one and go to automate and then click document review flow. Okay, one thing to note is that flow is actually configured by my username and admin is another person who is going to approve it. If I click on flow run flow, now the flow must start. So if I go back to the flow history, I can see the flow is running. Okay, so it has started the approval process. Let me log in as the Adam account. Okay, so I'm logged in as Adam now. I can see I've received an approval request with a link to the document which I have configured in the flow. So if I click on the document link, it will open that document for me in the browser. Okay, so now if I leave that document open and goes to email and just click on approve and just say all good and click submit. Once I submit the approve, because I had the document open, now the flow is going to fail. So if I go back to the flow, now the flow has failed. So if I click on the condition and it failed on updating the file properties. So the reason for the error is that it says that this document one is locked for shared by this account, which is Adam. And the workflow is running under a different service account, or in this case, my account. Hence, the flow cannot take control of the document and update the file properties. Now, there are few different workarounds available, but the one I have used here, which is quite easy in this scenario, is to enable check-in and check-out feature of the document library. And then when a reviewer see the file, they will see as a read-only. And in the flow, when you want to update the file property, you can actually check out the file, make changes to it, update the properties and check back in the file within the flow itself to avoid this issue. So the first thing first, I need to go to the document library. And if I go to setting icon and then go to library settings and then click more library settings. And then I have to go to versioning settings. Here, I need to check this option to yes, which says required document to be checked out before they can be edited. So click on yes and say, okay. So what this option will do is it will um, make sure when an approver is reviewing the document, it is reviewing in a read only way and not in an edit mode. So when reviewer open the document, he opens the read only, he reviews it, and goes to an email and approves it or reject it. So the document is not actually checked out or edited by that approver. And then in the flow, we need to make some adjustments. So if I go back to the flow now, and if I go click edit. Okay, so 
before updating the properties I need to check out this file because now we have check-in check-out feature enabled in the document library so to update the file property I need to first check it out make changes and then check back in so if I click on add action here and if I search for checkout file and I will select the same side which is site A and the library is the documents library and the ID of the file we can always get the ID from when it was triggered okay so now we're saying that is from this site this document library and this document you can check out please for me so after the checkout you can do all the operations you can make change to the file properties and then you can check in after update file properties I now need to check in the file so if I click on add new actions and then I check for check in file so check in SharePoint file that action I need now and then if I look at the site address it's going to be the same site and same documents library for it to check in and the ID of the document remains same so we can get it from the the first trigger when the file was manually trigger for review process and then the comment so this is the comment when goes into the the check-in checkout history that you know who make the change so we can say uh, flow checked in the file okay and then the check-in type we can see a minor version which is a draft version or you can do major version which is published so if we if this is an end of a process I will go with the major version and publish this document so that's it if I click on save now the flow is ready to trigger again if I go back to this uh, document now I'm back into the library and I'm selecting the same file again click on three dots and then go to automate and click document review okay now I will click on run flow okay so the flow has started let me go back to the flow page to see if it has started so we can then move to the other user and approve it now you can see the flow is running so if I click on the flow job you can see it is running and it has started an approval process now let's navigate to the other person so I would receive an email saying yeah I need to approve this request I can click on this document link again I can see the document and the content the only difference here is now this document is in a read-only format if I try to type it I can't type it says it's a read-only format so for an approver the person just need to review the document uh, either approve or reject it so it doesn't need an editing capability anyway but if they want to do it they can go and edit document and make changes and check back in also in the flow you can check there is a property which says checkout enable or disable so you can say if you check out true you can check back in before you can uh, check out again to make file properties changes in the in the file so there there is an option available for that as well so okay so the file is still open and I can go and click on approve let me just put some comments in here this is looking good and I will click on submit remember this time file is open and I have submitted my approval now if I navigate back to the approval flow the flow has completed successfully you can see if I go into this condition the flow has checked out the file it has updated the file properties uh, with the comments you can see the approval comments and then you can see um, it has checking the file again and the file with the comments cut and you can see it has checked in file again with the check-in comments and check-in type is one which means that is published now if I go back to the document library I can see if I just refresh the page again I can see the comments so who are the approver what was the response they have approved or rejected what type they have put the response and etc so that information is there so if I click on these three dots next to the document and go to version history the flow is running under this user which is the reason this file is being checked out by this user and this user made this comment change into the file properties 
and you can see the check in comments here that flow checked in the file which means that this is not a human who is doing the check-in it is actually the flow who automated the check-in of the file so hopefully you have a workaround now when you come across this issue where workflows error occurs saying that the file is locked for shared use by error you can follow this video instruction and implement the logic thank you very much for watching this video consider subscribing if you're new to the channel by pressing the red subscribe button below this video and click the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos as i upload new videos every week give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful if you have any question regarding this topic or any other query related to microsoft 365 technologies especially around power platform or sharepoint put in the comment section below i review the comments on daily basis i'll be happy to answer your question thank you